Gumfrey Nation. It's the President T. Lettrick. This is uh, one of my cats, Cream. And uh, I want to talk to you about police encounters. Um, you know, many of you already know about the, the, the shooting that happened in, uh, in Florida where the young airman lost his life because of um, the sheriff panic and, you know, freaked out and because he answered his own door with a gun in his hand that wasn't pointed at him, at the sheriff. Um, it is a such thing called low ready, where you have the firearm down to your side, finger off the trigger. But it didn't matter to that cop because all he saw was gun and he just reacted. He one of them type of cops that shoot first and ask questions later. You know, um, unfortunately, the young brother lost his life because of that. And I want to touch on, you know, police encounters. I've done, you know, uh, content on this in the past. And I just feel like I need to do it again because of the events. It's like, you know, it, it, it keeps happening and, it, and it's unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, it's going to continue to happen. So my advice, and then I want to, I want to touch on this too. Um, I did a live earlier yesterday. Um, I had went to point blank, uh, gun shop to do some work and on the way back I went live and I had my receiver my um my new uh not the the lower um uh, not it, it didn't have an upper on it was just the lower uh YouTube uh pretty much you know took the video down they didn't give me a strike thank God for that but they did block me from going live. So I don't know when I will be able to go live again. Um, I didn't know that having a lower would be considered as a firearm, but hey, it's, it's their policy. So from um, f future reference, I will not be holding a, 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 a any firearms or, or, or lowers ever again in in a live you know uh it, it it sucks it really does um they are really strict on us two way people but i just wanted to get that out the way uh police encounters i'm gonna say this um anytime when you encounter uh law enforcement it's two things on the line. I've said this before and I will say it again. It's two things that will be on the line. That will be, mm, that'll be your freedom and your life. It's up to you. So to make a long story short, comply. Um, a, a, a law enforcement, when you encounter them, it's like a box of chocolates. You don't know which cop you're going to get. You, you may get a good one. You may get a good cop. You may get a bad cop. You might just have a, you might encounter a good cop that's having a bad day and he take it out on you. You just never know. So play it safe and just comply. Because the minute that you try to hold court out in the streets, you're not going to win it ain't it's 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 not gonna happen you're not gonna win when have you seen someone kick a, a cop's ass out in the streets and they lived or didn't go to jail behind it so you're not going to win um and and, and this video is, is no knock on um law enforcement it's no knock on cops it's many 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 cops that's members of gun freak nation you know we need cops uh and and and, and you know in, in our society without cops there would be no law it would be lawless out there you know so trust me this is no dig or jab at the police i appreciate them i thank you for your service uh uh 
Every day you get up, you put, you know, you putting your life on the line when you put that badge on, you know. So I salute you and I appreciate you. But I'm talking about the ones that are not so uh, uh, good and 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 the trigger happy ones, the, you know. And I get it, you know. You want to make it home to your family, but some, some I just think a lot of. Um, situations that have escalated to somebody dying behind it or, or, or just getting jacked up really, really bad, hospitalized, it could be avoided by simply just complying. If you get that asshole cop, if you get him, then you got every right to uh, file a complaint and, you know, if it's warranted, put in a lawsuit, you know, but put that complaint in afterwards you know but the minute that you try to hold court and resist and 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 don't comply you only making it worse for you you only making it worse for you you know it's 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 just as simple as this you get stopped but you know by the police a traffic stop or they come to your house it's not a smart thing to answer your door with a firearm in your hand, even if it's low ready, even if you got it down to your side because you just don't know what cop you got. It's not smart to do that regardless, and I get it. You know, these savages are out here. You know, I have my gun nearby, if not on me, holstered to me. So when I open my door, you know, I'm going to look through the peephole. I got windows I can look out of. You know, and, and I'm going to make sure everything is looking, you know, legit, you know. So, um, yeah, it's not a smart thing to do that. You know, in the case of Roger Fortson, um, I don't think he knew that there was a sheriff at his door. I, you know, I'll never know what happened because he's not here. He's no longer here to tell his side of the story, you know. But um, I say this, anytime when you encounter law enforcement, uh, uh, your life, your freedom, and your life is on the line because I'm going to tell you something. They're going to ask you. They're going to tell you. And then they're going to make you. And during that phase, you could possibly lose your life. I've seen many, many, we all have seen many, many, many examples over the years where people refused to comply and they just didn't want to, you know, they just wanted to give the police a hard time. And it didn't end so well with them. I'm not justifying what the cops did to them, but I'm like, look, for a situation to escalate, to go from point A to point B, to where you, you know, all jacked up in the hospital or you shot up or, or, or you're, you know, you're no longer here because you don't lost your life because you decided that you didn't want to get a ticket when you know you're in the wrong, when you know that's, that's the part that, that boggles my mind when you know you out there riding dirty or, or for, for whatever reason. I've seen situations where they just, pull you over where they just want to fuck with you. So it, 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 it cuts both ways. I've seen situations where cops try to egg you on and try to escalate it, hoping that you're going to fall for it. So my advice, play it cool. Don't let, you know, don't let that officer break your cool. If you got an asshole officer, do not let him break your cool because that's what he want. He want that excuse to go upside your head or pull that trigger. So just keep it cool, comply. And if they being an asshole, then you got the right to get his badge number, file a complaint, go, to, go down to the station, file a complaint. You know, they got to give you their badge number. You can always ask for a supervisor to come on the scene, too, if you feel like you've been doing, if you feel like you have been done wrong. But do not try to resist. You know, just, hey, give me my ticket or do what you got to do and let's keep it moving. It's just that simple.
So, you know, um, I, I'm just tired of seeing unnecessarily, you know, unnecessary violence, you know, when stuff jumps from zero to 100 in a matter of seconds because somebody don't want to resist or, you know, do what the cop, you know, asked them to do, you know, so just pipe it down and just chill out. And if you get a ticket, you got the ticket. If you got a warrant for your arrest, hey, you, 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 you caught, you know, you might as well accept it. Don't try to run, you know, uh, I just don't get it in, in certain situations. If you know you got tickets you owe or uh, you got a warrant on you, you don't need to be out there driving in a situation where you can get pulled over and caught in the first place, you know? But if you do, what it look like you fighting them when you know you're the one in the wrong? It just make it make, it make sense. Go on and accept the fact that you got busted, got caught, and just, you know, Deal with it so you won't end up on the news, you know. But God Freak Nation, that's my message. You know, hopefully uh, I'll be able to go live soon. You know, YouTube got me in jail, so I can't do my live stream. I still got my backup channel, Electric Beats. It probably going to go back to life with T Electric, man. And I could go live or, you know... Uh, I am still going to be doing the beats and stuff, the beat making, but I think I'm going to call it, you know, I'm, I'm going to um, rename it uh, uh, Life with T Electric. Just look it up, Life with T Electric. That's my backup channel. I may go live. New content going to be on that. Uh, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. God Freak Nation, y'all the best. I appreciate it. The channel ain't nothing without y'all. Let's keep on growing the channel. Much love to the God Freak Nation. Listen, stay on. Stay responsible with your firearms, stay righteous, and be ready to send that funky-ass savage to Funky Town. I love you, Godfrey Nation. Salute, baby.